Many years ago, beloved teacher Rajneesh told us to be realistic and to plan for a miracle. But if you don't believe in miracles, or you don't believe you're worthy of receiving a miracle, all the planning in the world isn't going to help you. So today, we are going to take an even deeper look at miracles and how to create them. Welcome everyone, it's Marsha Martin, the Heart Healer, and today I promised that we would take a deeper look at miracles, but we need to keep in mind everything that's going on for us energetically because that will help us when we want to engage with the divine and call on that miracle making power. So we are right now in the serious gateway. This means that this, the star Sirius is in a position, in a dominant position, and it is acting as if it is a portal. So it is magnetizing your connection or increasing your divine connection. And it may be bringing up for you all sorts of different energies and some of them can be pretty deep and dark. So if you are having feelings of quitting or giving up, even to the point of suicide, please understand that these are feelings of unworthiness that are coming for you to release. Don't embrace these feelings, they are not you. They are not your authentic self. They are merely being made aware to you so that you will have the ability and the courage to let go of them. If you are in that deep dark place of suicide and you really feel that you have no other option, please reach out and get the help that you need. Do not sit by yourself alone, afraid, or feeling unworthy. It's so important that you reach out. So let's just take a look at a few of the things that the Sirius Gateway has to offer us. It's going to be in effect until from this, the 7th, the 7th, 7th, the 7th of July until 8, 8, the 8th of August when we enter the Lion's Gate portal. But this portal is about bathing in the energy of your own heart center. Remember, the heart center is where we connect with the divine. So when you place your attention on the heart center, you are saying yes to that divine connection and you are honoring that divine connection and all that you are. So it's a beautiful meditative time to get into the beautiful meditative state of the heart center and concentrate on the I am. God said to us when he was asked, what is your name? What should we call you? And God replied, I am that I am. So anything that you say after I am becomes what you are. So please honor yourself by reminding yourself, I am loving, I am kind, I am wise, I am powerful, I am able to carry out whatever the deepest desires of my heart are. And in that way, I am blessing myself and the world. We all have brought a beautiful blessing to share. Please take the energy of this serious gateway to enable yourself to really step in to the power of love 
that you represent. So let's take a look with the energy of the Sirius Gateway at the energy of miracles. And today our helper is Saint Anthony. And Saint Anthony is a wonderful paternal energy. It's not that overbearing energy that you may feel sometimes from the more masculine energy of God. It is more like having a father who you really love and respect by your side. So just open your heart to the father energy, that kind, gentle, wise, and strong energy. And don't be afraid to call on anyone, any help from the energetic realm, even if it's not an energy that we have been talking about in this video. You always have help available to you. So if you don't want to call out to a person, you can call out to an energetic helper and get even more wonderful and beautiful support. So let me just tell you a little bit more about St. Anthony. He's going to help you remember who you really are and to connect with your divinity. He also helps us find lost objects. And we must remember that sometimes the thing that we have lost is our own self, our own sense of purpose, our own sense of being. So if you're ready to journey into yourself, back into the state of being where you would will remember all that you are, then call on St. Anthony. And I also have done a St. Anthony meditation for you that will be appearing. I did it with Enlightened World Network, but look for that in this list of videos. And that was a beautiful meditation with St. Anthony where we went and collected all of the lost pieces of ourselves to make ourselves that full, rich being that we came here to be. So St. Anthony is helping us recover all of the aspects of ourselves. And like St. Francis, he is able with his powerful presence and his deep commitment to God and to preaching the love of God, St. Anthony also has a connection with animals. In his case, it's usually the animals in the sea. So the fish have been said when he walks along the path and he may walks along the sea, sorry, the shore, and he may be thinking about God or just talking out loud about God, the fish in the sea be begin leaping and following along with him as he's walking along the shore. So very similar loving energy showing us just what the love of God can do for all of us. He was also the champion of the poor, of the disenfranchised, and of the debtors. So if you are feeling poor in any way, poor in health, poor in mental well, well-being or emotional stability. Make sure that you call on St. Anthony and you wrap his paternal cloak of love and security around yourself so that you will remember that you are deeply loved and that you are never alone. He's known also for his miracles. And that's why, as we look more deeply into miracles, we chose St. Anthony to work with today. He has been known to repair damage to a farmer's field. He was giving a sermon in a field, and there were so many people in attendance that the crops became trampled. And St. Anthony looked at that and didn't feel comfortable having caused that damage when he was just trying to share love 
And so he prayed and asked that the field would be restored to optimal health, and it did. All of the crops came back, and the farmer had a bountiful harvest. This is the way in which we love each other, by using the miracle power that God has given to us. We see a wrong and we allow ourselves to connect with our divinity and fix that wrong. If the recipient, the person who you see is being wronged is open to receiving, and this includes yourself, remember, if you are not willing to receive all of the prayer, all of the alignment, all of the supplication on your behalf will go nowhere. So open your heart to receive so that you will have your prayers answered and you will be the recipient of a miracle. One other thing that I want to share with you about St. Anthony is that he is often depicted with an image of the baby Jesus. He'll have a book in one hand to illustrate his wisdom and his knowledge of the divine. And on the other hand, he will be holding the baby Jesus. And this is because when he was staying at a friend's house, one time the friend opened the door to let him know you know, dinner was ready or something. And he noticed that there was St. Anthony with an absolutely beatific look upon his face and in his arms he was cradling the baby Jesus. Saint Anthony is such a beloved spirit, such a spirit of welcoming that Jesus was able to appear to him in his state of infancy. So this is the kind of energy, this loving expansive energy is what you will be receiving when you call on St. Anthony yourself. He is known for his sweet, gentle spirit and the purity of his teachings. So this means that if you call on St. Anthony and you receive a dressing down or you feel that you're being shamed or criticized, you need to clear and cleanse the energy and try again. You have not connected with St. Anthony. You've connected with a darker energy that's more earthbound, more ego-based. Remember, if it comes from God, it will be loving and uplifting. So now let's hear from St. Anthony about how to make a miracle in your life and how to find yourself. And St. Anthony begins, It is so easy to get lost these days. The world has sped up, and now you have instant access to everything. Even to those habits and practices that are destructive. So many of you start off brimming with hope, but so quickly do you give in to the discouragement of loss rather than the uplifting quality of love. It is toward love that I wish to direct your attention today. I ask that you slow down, step away from all that is instant, and take a moment to find your center. This will require patience. You may experience frustration and many of you will want to give up in defeat certain that this journey back to your center point cannot really be that important. This is when you will need to call on me, St. Anthony, to be your guide, your heart center, your divine connection, your place of belonging hasn't gone missing. It may be covered over with debris, 
old habits, negative thinking, limiting beliefs, along with past pain and trauma. But your place of belonging still exists and you are still found to be worthy. You are not lost. You have simply forgotten where you're going. You've trusted the wrong beings to give you guidance and direction. You've been on a long meandering journey. You've taken many wrong turns and you've found yourself further, not closer to your destination. I invite you to come home again and I promise to show you the way. I, Saint Anthony, patron saint of the lost, want all who feel lost to take my outstretched hand. Then I ask that you look past the obstacles that have been obscuring your view of the goal. You see, although you have wandered long, you have not wandered far. You were always held in the center of God's heart, even when you believed that you had lost your way. None are ever truly lost, and none are ever forgotten. Take my hand. Allow me to show you the way as you relax into the certainty that you are safe and loved. It is God's great pleasure to welcome you home and to prepare a feast in your honor. It is so very important that you recognize and remember that you are so dearly loved. It is God's great pleasure to give you the desires of your heart. Your part is to be open to receiving. Your part is to recognize your worthiness. Your part is to go into the heart and clear and heal all of the debris that you've accumulated over the years, all of the times that you may have missed the mark and now you believe you are no longer valuable. Release that from your energetic being. Let go of that false belief system. Instead, get ready to welcome a miracle. Get ready to expect that everything is going to work out in your favor. Get ready to be honored, to be blessed, to be joyful, and to experience a state of bliss and peace every moment of the day. You are blessed beyond measure. The only thing that is standing between you and your miracle and you and your blessing is you. Allow yourself now to align from the heart. Fully align yourself with your divine purpose and with all of the divine help that is available to you. Receive that love receive the guidance and know that you are not lost you were never lost and now with the help of Saint Anthony you have been found and you are more beautiful more lovely and more worthy than ever before Thank you everyone for being here with me today. I so appreciate all of you who are liking, commenting, and subscribing. Please share this video if you feel that it has touched your heart so that another person will recognize their worth and their value. 
especially if you know somebody who's feeling lost and alone, encourage them to connect with St. Anthony and to be guided back into their heart center. As always, I welcome you to join me on my website, Marsha Martin, thehearthealer.com. Marsha spelled M-A-R-C-I-A or mmhearthealer.com. You will find there many free resources and also a community, a subscription community, and an opportunity to sign up and work with me individually. I want your spiritual journey to be exactly what feels good to your heart. So please, whatever you need, whatever help, whatever encouragement, reach out and receive. Now, until next time, I'm sending you all my love and my deepest gratitude.